All right, men, now I'm going to call you out on some behaviors that you guys have been doing lately that are really bugging me. Things that are have no place in 2022 that you don't do to women. Now, I got a little list here. This just been happening just this month. Men who talk over you when you're trying to get a point across or you have a story to tell, and all of a sudden they'll talk over a little much double volume you're speaking and about a totally unrelated subject which indicates that they were paying no attention to what you had to say whatsoever then there are the men who they're doing something and they decide to shush you like you're two and i'm sorry unless you are uh doing something where you are trying to take a splinter out of somebody's eye or something in which case people probably shouldn't be that close to you anyway you don't treat somebody like they are less than or like their feelings are insignificant or like your needs are the only needs that matter. That is so rude uh, to do that. And this person that I'm thinking of, he was tuning his guitar. Now, I tuned three guitars this week, all right? And during the time I was in the middle of a conversation, I didn't have, once I got the sound in my ear, matching the string and tighten it up and everything i was able to answer a simple question it wasn't like i was trying to ask him to solve quadratic equations or something that three times in a week i was shushed and only one was during a, a guitar tuning incident that is just rude and you know each time uh somebody is rude like this i call them on it and it's never another woman that does this it's always men doing these things uh, another thing that uh i don't like is men to focus only on their things and, and this is not just something that musicians do. I'm not calling out the music community. But say the person has a guitar and he's out there and I have my guitar out there. And so he invites me to lean my guitar on the same thing where his guitar is. And then if any of our friends get anywhere near there, he's the first to bark about his guitar, his thing. It's like, excuse me, um, your equipment, your person, your equipment is not the only equipment that's on here. Everything is always about you, 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 you. You totally disregard other people. Who is it, you know, he makes me feel totally insignificant and like, uh, like I don't have any uh, deserving of respect. Uh, the men who always have to one up. If you happen to mention, oh yeah, I, I tell them I did so, this, that, and whatever in Hollywood. And he says, oh yeah, I did that. Oh yeah, I know director. You know, like if I tell him about some of the stuff that I was a movie extra in. In Hollywood, you know, oh, you know, I knew this director, and I know that some people always have to win up on you. And even if they eventually give you some evidence to back up some things, like, okay, there's a lot of people that you meet in life that are going to end up being veterans and stuff, and I respect your service, I think that's a really great thing. But you don't go from being a veteran to going all of a sudden telling me that you're on SEAL Team 6 and you're one of the people that shot Osama bin Laden. Come on, give me a fucking break. I really highly doubt, come on, what's up, I'm starting to think that there's, uh, no, I won't pass judgment, I won't say it, but all the men uh, who allude to violence all the time, they're always quick to anger, always quick to, whenever they hear the word no, there's you know, something about the word no that gets some men angry. You notice that? And I'm thinking that especially after they've been having beers, because they don't usually probably like this in the morning, but some are. And if the person is acting like this in the morning when they haven't had a chance to drink a whole bunch of drinks, then maybe you're dealing with somebody who really is a sociopath and an abuser, and you need to get the hell out. But when you're discovering this in some of your friends, you're thinking, you know, I'm setting more and more boundaries because I'm noticing this kind of behavior. And so these guys, first of all, I live in New Jersey is a state. Uh, let's talk about men and their toys. New Jersey is a state where we are rated probably, if not D minus F, by the NRA. New Jersey is a place where unless you are a uh, police officer, you're not allowed to carry. And New Jersey does not honor any kind of reciprocal agreements. If you live in any states that allows for concealed carry and stuff, you can't just go bring your Smith & Wesson or whatever the fuck over here to New Jersey because you get caught with it. That's a felony. That's a stupid, stupid, stupid thing. And yet there are some people that do this and, and they seem to think that just because, and even if you uh, did stir, do uh, a tour of duty, and I'm sorry, unless, and okay, I am not a military person, and I am not a trained professional in this. I've never been a police officer, and I'm not an attorney or anything. However, I am definitely very interested in the subject, and I'm a daughter of a career war veteran, and I care very deeply about Second Amendment and things, and I try to educate myself on the subject. 
and you just cannot break certain laws and get away with it. And then in the process of your being drunk, going every time you get angry at somebody saying, oh, I can shoot you, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. I say, shut the fuck up, first of all. And what makes you think you're above the law? And the different irresponsible things. Again, I've never seen a female act like this. I'm not against men. I'm against stupidity, okay? I, can I confront the stupid and the aggressive behavior and the, the tough stuff. And now I'm figuring out why it is that so many men hate it when I want to stand. I'm wearing a short skirt. If I sit in public on these filthy surfaces where guys, uh, people sit where they step on uh, and stand on, you know, look over the sand dunes to get a better look at the ocean. And I know where people step in and I'm going to sit my ass on that. No, but you know, I find that men don't like you to stand it because you get to tower over them. You get to intimidate them. Well, guess what? If you men are intimidated, fuck off. What have you been doing to women uh, for millennia? You know, and I know if it sounds like it's going to be a rant against the patriarchy, well, why the hell not? Just, you know, I'm not asking for people uh, to give up the essence of who they are, unless the essence of who you are is an absolute ass. Stop being jerks. Stop imposing yourself on other people and expanding yourself so much that you cause people to constrict just to try to have some kind of personal space. The obnoxiousness really is not going to win you friends. You know, I mean, I just, uh, certain people who I uh, thought were uh, charming or earlier on, I'm starting to say, you know what, I have to take them in small doses. But this macho man behavior, it's a real turnoff to me anyway. It reminds me of uh, bad relationships in the past that I just soon forget. You know, you can't treat females like this. You shouldn't treat anybody like this. I'm just kind of sick of it. And uh, this whole thing about only, with these men, they're so selfish, only they matter. And I'm sure that some of you are watching saying, oh, but I know females like this, but I've only seen this behavior with men. And it's just really, I'm sick of it. And especially three quarters of it is men who drink and you get drunk. And the more you drink, the more obnoxious you get. You guys really need to knock it off. Really, seriously, sick of it. All right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, do subscribe. And I will talk to you in a couple of days. See ya.